In the previous session, we looked at simple interest. In this session, we are going to consider compound interest. So just a reminder then, simple interest, we have, if we invest, say our, we're earning simple interest of 10% and we invest $1,000, we will earn year one interest of £100. So at the end of year one, the value of our investment is 1,100. In year two, the interest earned will also be 100 pounds. Because when simple interest is applied, the interest will always be calculated based on the original sum invested. Now what I want to highlight to you here is the fact that at the end of year one, our investment is worth 1,100. But during year two, we are only going to earn interest on the original investment. So in other words, when simple interest is applied, we don't earn interest on the interest. With compound interest, it's different. So when compound interest is applied, This means interest is calculated based on the original investment plus any interest earned to date. Like we saw with simple interest, there is a formula for calculating the future value of an investment if compound interest is applied. In this case, if compound interest is applied, then the future value of an investment is equal to the present value, or the amount invested, multiplied by 1 plus r to the power of n where FV is the future value of our investment, PV is the present value of our investment, R is the interest rate, and N is the number of time periods we are investing that amount for. Okay, so we know what compound interest is and we have our formula. We're going to look at an exercise then to see how the compound interest calculations work. So, we are told $1,000 is invested at the start of year one and compound interest is added each year at 10% per annum. And we need to calculate the value of the investment at the end of year three. So, we're going to do this exercise twice. The first time we are going to go through calculating the interest year on year and see what our Cumul cumulative total is at the end of year three. And then we're going to use our formula. So remember, the value of the investment at the end of year three is going to be the original sum invested plus the interest we have earned during that three-year period. So our original investment is $1,000 invested today. Then we'll earn interest in year one. Our interest rate is 10%. So the interest for year one will be 1,000 
multiply by 10%. So $100. So at the end of year one, the value of our investment is 1,100. Fair enough. This all seems fine so far. Now we need to add on the interest earned in year two. Now when we are applying compound interest, we don't just calculate the interest based on the original investment. We calculate the interest for year two based on the value of the investment at the end of year one, which means the interest earned in year two will be 1,100 multiplied by 10%, so $110. So at the end of year two, the total value of our investment will be $1,210. Now we need to go to the end of year three, so our next step will be to add on our interest for year three. Remember, this is compound interest, so we are going to calculate the interest based on the original investment plus the interest earned to date. So the interest for year three is going to be 10% of the value of the investment at the end of year two. So we have 1,210 multiplied by 10% gives us 121. So the value at the end of year three will be 1,331. And that's the question complete. So let's do it again now, except remember we could have done this the quick way. We could have calculated the future value at the end of year three by using our formula present value multiplied by 1 plus r to the power of n. So if we just plug in the numbers then, the future value at the end of year 3 is equal to the amount invested, so the present value of the investment, multiplied by 1 plus our interest rate of 10% or 0.1, to the power of n. n, of course, is the number of time periods. In this case, we're looking for the value after three years. So working that through, the future value at the end of year three will be equal to a thousand multiplied by 1.1 to the power of three. You're going to need your scientific calculators then for this. So a thousand multiplied by 1.331. So the future value at the end of year three is 1,331. Make sure you know your formulae for compound and simple interest calculations so you can do these quickly in the exam.